Hello and welcome. My name is Sparon Young and I'm here with Zane White. And we're prepared here to discuss and present for our CIT 370 uh, network security class regarding uh, proxy servers and with an emphasis on squid proxies. Uh, first, uh, understanding proxy servers. Uh, proxy servers uh, stand in the place of of an operation or or act as a um, intermediary between uh, the user's computer and and then the internet. And and the reasons why you might want to do that is it will help you know prevent uh, attack and unexpected access um, through your network. Uh, it's it's a it can be a computer it can be an application program but basically it's going to intercept the request um, from the user and, and and process it on behalf of the user uh, before it actually um, goes through the internal secure network. Uh, why why would an organization use a proxy? What are are the benefits? Of using a proxy. A proxy server um, can do a number of different things that are beneficial. Um, it, it will increase the speed because it uses caching um, of known resources, uh, whether it be websites, um, media, what have you. By having it cached, it doesn't have to rely specifically on the uh, designated server. Uh, it can reduce cost because um, you can monitor um, and reduce the amount of bandwidth, uh, again, because of the caching capability. It also improves um, the management of your resources um, by, by filtering um, any um, unnecessary web information. Uh, can provide some authentication regarding what information is being transferred between the uh, internet and your internal network. And, and for that, then it, it can provide a, a level of uh, security uh, because it can intercept any malicious uh, software, malware, before actually um, affecting your internal network as well. Um, one of the a popular options behind a proxy is it can hide your internal IP structure so that it's it's not um, not known from the uh, outside of your network um, and, which is a big advantage. You can also monitor any what information is being sent out from your network um, and that could be re reported in, in data being leaked out that um, you're not wanting you know, to let, leave your network. Um, and so it can create logs of what traffic is, is being passed to, to the internet and coming in from the internet, um, which you can then, as an administrator, evaluate and, and, and report on. There are several options for proxy servers uh, available. Um, there are several that offer some free services. There are several that are paid services. Uh, Boxprox.com offers a rating um, on on a number of, of servers or on proxy servers. Uh, Best Proxy and VPN, um, Proxy and VPN, Squid Proxies, Proxy Hub, and, and so forth. So, several options to choose for choose from. Do your research. Um, weigh out the pros and cons, but several, several options to choose from. Uh, Squid, um, as, a, as a proxy option, we want to discuss a little further. Um, and, and as you go to uh, Squid's website for information and, and, and download, they, they offer a number of different um, benefits in particular to their audience. So, um, if you're an ISP, you know, using Squid can help save on bandwidth through, again, caching, uh, improve user speeds, reduce costs. Um, for websites, they're using Squid as a proxy option for caching can be very easily scalable from 
um, you know, if you have an increase in traffic. Uh, content delivery providers, whether it be media, what have you, uh, Squid offers a worldwide distribution capability with, with, with thousands of server access um, worldwide. So uh, for users, it's just easy setup, install, and, and configuration uh, as well. And you can get more information here at uh, squid-cache.org. And Zane here will discuss further um, how to use Squid and, and its function. Okay, so I installed Squid on a Linux operating system, which makes it really easy. What you do is if you're in Linux, you'll open up a terminal, and you have to be connected to the Internet so you can download Squid. And after you're connected, you'll type into the terminal, apt-git install squid and most Linux um, has this in their database as a application you can install and so after that it'll um, look for it and then it'll pull it up and it'll ask you if you want to install it and you'll say you put in Y and press enter and it'll install onto Linux Okay, so this is the main command frame or like main commands for Squid. And um, the ones that you'll need to know right off the back are going to be um, squid f config file. Um, this one is to configure the settings in Squid, which will allow you to change which ports you access. Um, different things on the internet. You can use the U port um, to do that, and you can also configure that in the configuration file. Um, you'll be using um, the ports we've talked about in this class, the ICP ports. And you can also set up access control list in the config file and change some of the different HTTP settings, and there's a lot of different things you can do. And if you go to the um, Squid website, they'll also show you some tutorials on things you can set up in the config file. So for whitelisting, um, this makes it so that you have a, a list of um, a list of the websites or yeah, of the websites or different ports you want your config file to automatically allow. And so what you'll need to do um, to create a whitelist, you'll open the config file. Um, you'll either use the command uh, etc slash squid slash squid dot config on f or squid dash config dash file. And once you get into this file, to make a whitelist, it's really easy. You'll add a line to it that says ACL whitelist, which commands the access control list to make a whitelist. And then you'll set the destination domain. And then we have, I just put examples so that you know these are examples. But you can then put things like google.com or .amazon dot com. And you could also set which porch you want those white listed on to. Um, and then once you're done with setting the white list access control list, um, you'll then enter um, HTTP underscore access allow white list. And then you will save that by typing in squid dash reconfigure which will then reconfigure the configuration file um, saving the whitelist into the file and then you have your whitelist 